Welcome back for the final series of Hibla Filipiniana, Shuttles of Unity, Threads of Identity, with Adaptations of the Filipino. The three and a half centuries of Spanish colonization left a strong imprint on the Philippine Islands, particularly the lowland communities they left behind. These communities' assimilation was so strong and thorough that has become difficult to indicate where the native form ends and where the foreign one begins. What we know for certain is that these traditions are now uniquely Filipino. The traditional textiles of early Christianized natives on the coast of the Cordilleras experienced a hybridization of culture, not just with their Spanish rulers, but with the indigenous neighbors of the central Cordilleras. It is believed that Abra was a recent dispersal point of Ilocano textile forms from the Cordilleras and was a junction point of the creation of mestizo textiles. The three paneled blankets, generally known as Oes in Itneg and Ules in Ilocano, are decorated with the Cusicus design, which is a matrix structure creating an optical illusion effect of throbbing spheres that perpetuate the movement of the whirlwind and the whirlpool. This well-known Ilocano motif takes its origins from the weaving communities in northwestern Luzon, notably the Itneg people of Abra. The whirlwind and whirlpool are believed to be the home of a ferocious wind god. In textiles, the wind god is depicted in geometric form through negative and positive squares and rectangles of graduated sizes. Textiles with the Cusicus design are believed to be potent shields from the wind god because it has the ability to neutralize its power. During the colonial period, the Cusicus designs were popular masts for trading boats. This cross-cultural relationship is evident in Christianized communities throughout the Philippines with numerous junction points. The Spanish galleons brought new trade to the Philippines, filled the market with foreign textiles, spices, and people. With that included fragments of indigenous culture interconnected in the daily life of the lowland rice-growing communities of Luzon and the Visayas. The blending of cultures in the Philippines is woven into the fiber of life reflecting the heart and soul of today's Filipinos. The lowland farmers of Luzon and the Visayas enjoy a simple lifestyle. The dances of the Philippine countryside demonstrates joy in all aspects of life through the use of glasses, hats, and bamboo, to name a few.